is Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of Delicious Party Pretty Hair, finally, after it feels like almost a whole year, this girl is finally here. Like, thank freaking God. Like, I, I'm so freaking happy because, once again, I can finally say another girl from the Simpho Gear series is finally a pretty cure, and they all can hang out, even though, you know... Toy Animation does not want to do Pretty Cure All-Star series anymore. You need to do another movie with all the girls, I'm just saying. So, you know, fingers crossed because we want to see my three Simple Gear babies, you know, all come back together again after a little nice little reunion, please and thank you. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 and 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, you know, a girl can dream, like, straight up. But the good thing is, technically, with the newest all-star movie, one of them gets to have a reunion with the other one, you know? And uh, I... <laughs> Like, y'all don't know how long I've been waiting for this girl. Like, it gets it's so funny because her seiyuu, like I said, is someone who still pretty recently, quote-unquote, got into Sinfo Gear and binged that show as a Patreon series and heard her as Miku in that show, who was a supporting character in that series. Then going from that, or technically really first watching a sentence of a bookworm, and hearing her say you as mine, then going into the Sinfoko series with Miku to now her being a freaking pretty cure literally two years after the year of Aoyuki that we had, and how her and how Aoyuki have been like quote unquote lovers in the Sinfoko series. I mean, it's cute. So, yes, like, so once again, fingers freaking crossed that in the freaking crossover pretty cure movie that's gonna come out like soon ish miss little grace is still in there because we need them to kind of interact one more time before you know grace goes bye bye please because your girl needs it be nice i'm just saying <laughs> Oh, it's good.
I, I freaking can't, because once again, like, literally hearing her talk, all I hear is mine. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, she's so cute. Just a toy. Did they forget Mimi? Oh! <laughs> I can't because you know <laughs> in one series she freaks out about making bucks and in this it's a recipe piece of food. <laughs> <laughs> that or she's freaking out over he Vicky. I don't think that's a good idea, though. No. Damn it, she might be like second best girl. <laughs> oh my god. Baby, I'm gonna die today. Oh my god! Yeah, we're Almost like that special feeling. Mm hmm. Miss Gentle, how you doing today? <laughs> Do 
You gotta love him once again. They said, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, of course, Ron. I mean, you know. I have a bad feeling about this. See, right there, right then and there, it is confirming Gentle is the freaking scum of the student council president. I mean, come on. We all knew that for a while now. We were just waiting for, quote unquote, the right time. Come on now. It's freaking obvious. Go on, go after them. I mean, yeah, that was really fast, though. Oh. Hmm. It's not good.
Yep, that's mine for you. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, Yui would be hungry at this time, but who could blame her? Finally, let's go! Why am I crying right now? Oh my god! It took freaking weeks, it felt like years have gone by, but like, oh. I just have to say, her design is the best. Like, oh, initially when I saw all three, I was like, zoomed in on her. baby
Damn, six. My freaking allergies are messing me up with crying and sniffing. I can't. <laughs> I think it's kind of obvious. <laughs> mhm. Mm so cute oh my god okay okay finally she did so precious and she just makes it with the group so much oh my god my freaking nose allergies i can't i hate allergy season so bad but she fits it so perfectly oh my god to literally contrast that both her and freaking spicy seiyus have been in other big projects and that Pretty Cure for them is, like, probably one of the other biggest things that they're officially a part of. But, like, for Yui's, this is, like, the start of her, you know, freaking career as a Seiyu. And so I love the fact that, you know, sometimes every year or every other season, we kind of get, like, a season where we have, like, um, 50 after 50. 50 out of 50, we either have a all-star cast where, like, you know they've kind of been other things, like, Tropical Rouge was, or you only know two of them, and then one of them is brand new, or you know a couple of them, and then still one of them is probably brand new. But she's sweet, she's adorable. The transformation probably now is my my current favorite up until we get the last cure, aka Miss You Know Who, Miss Gentle, because it's freaking once again obvious that it's gonna be her. Um especially with the student council president type thing, and the fact is that both of them sound like the same freaking person, a.k.a. freaking Darkness slash Alex, Alice from freaking Sora Online, so it's obvious, so it's just like, just let it happen. And plus, she's also from Symphon Gear as well, so just let it happen. Okay, hold up. I already like the fact that, you know, this episode was a Ron, you know, exclusive, semi, 120% focus. We getting two episodes in two weeks focusing on Ron. That's a good start because, you know, they totally knew how long we had to wait for this girl, especially after the fact is that, you know, Toei got hacked. And because of that, they was like, you know what? <laughs> Let's reward everybody with two weeks. Of focusing on Ron slash Curry Yum Yum. That is a good thing on my book because the fact is we've gotten, this is only se week seven into this show, but we've gotten at least like mm, almost two episodes each focusing on both um, Kohone and Yui. So it's now officially kind of now time for the next cure, aka Ron, to officially um, get that center focus episode all about herself with a little bit of the other two getting still development at the same time. And that's what I loved. 
about, like, in, in every single Pretty Cure series, this is in the beginning. It's very easy for them to be like, yes, it's simple. It's three of them, or it's four of them, or it's like five of them. But when they add that final cure, it's a little bit harder to try to get the center episodes focusing on one cure, plus also giving the other cures who are not as focused as that main person of the week character development. This is the same thing of issues that I've had, like with Tropical Rouge, Healing Good, Star Twinkle, and so on and so forth these last few years, all the way even to when I first started reacting to this series, going into Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl and Mode. So what I'm still hoping is that they do a really good job on this, up until the final gear comes out around my birthday month, and then after that, still kind of really keep up with that, so that by the time when we come back to this show, at the end of the year next year, or really at the end, or really at the beginning of the year next year, and when we finally have those final thoughts, and me looking back at every single one of these characters, I really truly hope it's on good thoughts, because I don't want to be like, well dang, I like these characters in the beginning, but towards the end, because of this, is that, and the third, and writing issues, this is why, like, I went from this to this. So, you know, fingers crossed, hoping that, you know, it, we go good. It does good. That's all I want. But yes, Ron is adorable, and I love her so much. That's all. We literally, just to, once again, having her say you as both Ron and my, um, mine for, like, the next couple of weeks, especially because of the fact is for A Sentence of the Bookworm, this might be the final season of that show, and we might not get anything else. So I really love the fact that we get to have two shows with her. Just how we did with Aoi Yuki, because Aoi Yuki was in so many shows when Healing Good was out. And so it was just like almost every single Saturday or whatever day before, between the Fridays and the Saturdays, it was always like Aoi Yuki Day, because something I was watching had her in it, whether she was the main character or a secondary character. She was always being supported. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday slash Sunday for episode 8. Bye, guys!